coming soon. Until then, enjoy the vibes. That's my bro, my family, goes in chains When it comes to money, I take concentrate Make I tell you straight, you are not my mate If you become mission, I'll be head of state For my people, then go say, I know one want I know one want I know one want I want enjoy, I want your plan I want buy my food, I want build us I still want to know Tell me, tell me, my nigga What's it come? Chew a gun, all the belly Pick a gun, ride the money And the heat Die for nothing, my nigga. What's it come? She walk up, all the pen. The gallant, by the women. I know it's die for nothing. Good evening, good evening, good evening to all. Now, I had a different show I was supposed to do today, but um, some of my co-hosts were not feeling well, so I just decided to move that on until next Friday. Um, next Friday, I will be doing it. Even if it is me by my lonesome, I will be doing it. Now, I also um, dropped a link in the chat and I'm just trying to get to my live that I'm on right now. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find my own live. Um, and Yousef, everyone knows Yousef. He has been the judge for many of us in different competitions. He has lost his main channel where he had a couple thousand subscribers. So right now he's working off of his backup page where he only has, I think like, Mm, let me see. I think it's uh, I think he might have like, yeah, he has less than 500. He has less than 500 on that channel. So I would appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to that page. Um, 
I also want to pin it whenever my YouTube would act like it has some good sense. I want to go ahead and pin that information in the description. Also, I don't want to forget today to tell you guys about StreamYard and how I reached out to them and, and what they said. The other day, I just didn't, I wasn't in the mood to do, you know, long lives and stuff like that. Um, you know, I usually do like an hour and I'm done, but lately I've been doing like three hours, four hours, five hours or whatever. And I just don't want that to become, to become a thing. So let me go ahead and put his link in here again. Okay. Hold on. Let me see if I can pin this. Yes, there we go. It's pinned now. So it's pinned at the top. That is the uh, link to Yousef. And if you guys could go ahead and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. Um, I don't really go on a whole lot of people's links, but like if I do happen to catch Jay Wilson, I'll make him aware or I will ask him if we can drop it um, at his platform. You know, I feel like when it comes to things like this, we really should come together as a community and really support our fellow content creator. So that's what I wanted to say right there. I don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. You know, don't be discouraged. I understand nobody wants to start over from scratch. And that's why when it comes to this channel right here, because this is my baby, this S underscore Hutchinson, this is my baby. I got this from the dirt. So I don't really play a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Like even when people get crazy, on my platform, I will snatch them off the panel in a hot second because I'm not going to allow anyone to cause me to lose my platform. You know, I went and made a whole nother channel where I could just do basically fuck shit or whatever. But um, YouTube demonetized me. And what happened is I could have gotten my channel back monetized because when you get demonetized, it is a very easy fix to be honest, but it does require work. And at the time I didn't have time to put that work into it because my family will forever and always come first. Okay. And I make no apologies about that. Right. So, um, that's what I had to say about that. Look, let me just go ahead and say this. I'm going to say hello to everybody in the chat. I'm not even going to go one by one by one by one by one. Um, and thank you unapologetically me for subscribing. I would appreciate if all of you all would subscribe. The closer that he can get to that thousand, he could at least go ahead and try to get monetized again. Um, of course, he would need some watch hours and stuff like that. But that's also an easy fix. It's a good thing that he did not put his backup channel under his brand channel, because if you do that, you will lose all of your channels. Like if I lose this channel right here, I'm also going to lose Edible Etna because Edible Etna is under the brand channel. But if I lose this channel right here, I still will have Mrs. Underscore. I will still have Triple OG. I'll still have those pages because they're with a different email. So sometimes it's important that when you're making up these backup channels and stuff like that, that you put them under a whole separate email and do not connect them with your brand channel. Because if you lose one, you will lose all. And truth be told, I have like five channels underneath this channel right here. I have two that are public and three that are private. So um, that's what I want to say about that. So since, um, and I kind of feel bad because today I really wanted to talk about the spiritual stuff and, and things like that. But once two of my co-hosts got sick, I was like, well, you know what? Maybe it's not meant for me to do it today, but I do know that it is meant eventually for me to do it because that is what my heart desires, to be honest. Um, but I hope somewhere in this live today that you'll be touched by something that I say it won't be. It won't be on no spiritual thing. I don't think so. But who knows? God may lead me somewhere else. Um, 
so my sleep has been all over the place. I told you guys about that. So I went to sleep early. I woke up in the middle of the night. I was up all through the night and I was catching up on replays and stuff like that. So I was listening to Jay Wilson's replay, the one where Heidi was on and who else was up there? Ken Nola was up there and I believe, I think VS was up there or whatever. And so I listened to it and I'm not going to lie, Heidi, I love you down, but baby, you was making it a little difficult to listen to uh, what was going on with all the screaming and everything. But I also do understand it. You know what I mean? And it's easy for people to say that, you know, um, Heidi's wrong or whatever. But if nothing has ever been to you before, if nothing has ever been done to you before on YouTube, then you probably would not understand it. Right. But I also understand that there's a time and a place for everything. Absolutely. You can come. You, you don't have to ask. Can you come up, Yousef? You are at home, baby. Let me tell you something. For all the people to come over here and support my channel. When you get here, I want you to treat this as your home. Now, not in the way of coming and tearing it the fuck up, but in the way of you know, take your shoes off, get comfortable and relax because you're amongst family. Okay. Kimmy versus Joyce. Wait, what do you mean? Kimmy? Oh, Kimmy VS and Joyce. I thought you meant versus Joyce. I'm like, what the hell you, what you mean? Um, versus Joyce. <laughs> okay. Joyce and, um, Kiki baby daddy. So this is what I want to tell y'all. Do y'all remember me telling you guys some time back? I said, Dory told me that her husband, boyfriend, or whomever is Kiki's baby's daddy. How many times did y'all hear me talk about that over here on my platform? And then later on, somebody said, well, Kiki spoke about it. And she said that that's not true. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then I said, well, when I did a little doxing, because y'all know I am a, a reformed doxer. I don't dox anymore. Um, I had seen that both have connections to Texas at some point in time. So I don't know what the fuck is really going on with that. Neither do I really care. Um, I don't have a beef with Kiki. Um, and that is the girl Kiki. I don't have a beef with her or anything like that. She's never done anything to me personally. So I have no reason to attack her and I'm not going to attack her. When it comes to Dory, me and Dory, we had an issue. Um, and I kind of came at Dory hard because um, I felt that she was disrespecting somebody that I really rock with. That I love. Ooh, girl, I got to put you on mute because you got feedback, feedback. Okay. So, um, but then those people, they made up and then I was looking crazy. So that's why now I don't really take up for people who, you know, if, if, if I'm cool with you and you got an issue with somebody else, that's that, that issue is between you and them. I'm not going to put myself into it because these people be making up to break up every hour on the hour. And so why would I do that? But I'm going to go on mute for a second and I'm going to let Vivian talk because I'm assuming she's trying to tell me something. I could have missed something. I know I did see that live. And then the live after that, I watched from Jay Wilson where he was just saying that he didn't anticipate that all this stuff was going to take place. And I'll tell you how I see the whole thing um, in just a second. But let me go on mute for a minute and let Viv come off. Okay. I, okay. You are all right. So listen, real quick. I wanted to tell you this. What happened was, she said Dory said that the guy emailed her, and she called him back. She said he emailed her, what and guy? she called him back. the baby daddy. 
Okay. She said that she said that baby daddy dude called her and she emailed him. I mean he emailed her and she called him back. And she was trying to decide if she was going to fire up her own live or if she was going to call somebody. Then she seen Jay Wilson live and she called him and to ask him, could he bring her up? Could she bring him up? So that's what happened. Because uh, Kimmy was trying to get to the bottom of it. And that's what happened. So that's all I wanted to say. All right, I'm going, I'm going back down in the chat because you know I'm at the gas station. Okay, sis. All right, okay. If I have to come back up, I'll tell you whatever else I know. You know, I don't know much. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm out. All right. All right. So here's my thing. Okay. Live with your noise. Okay. So, and I, I see you, Heidi. Give me one second. Um, Here's my thing. Why would this man, I ain't taking sides because I really don't have a dog in this fight. Why would this man email Dory of all people? You ain't been on here in a month of Sundays. You don't have no huge following. What made this man reach out to you? Huh? I, I, I'm, I'm Now I'm confused for real, for real. Yeah, hey, Heidi. Crazy. Hey, boo. I just wanted to say, um, don't forget. Um, I know people keep talking about the whole thing with VS. But before that happened, I was the one who actually started bringing up the Kiki situation. Like, I did elaborate on the whole what, what the whole thing was about and when the dude came up there i shut it up i didn't say shit so i just wanted to make that clear i was the one that actually kind of got everything popping you know besides the other part that you know people keep focusing on uh me and vs but i'm not like other people if someone that's that i don't fuck with and been through stuff like that with and they just come in your environment like some of some of y'all can just sit there and not say nothing i'm not like everybody else everybody's different you know, but you like I said, me, so I get it. I understood yeah. it. I yeah, understood that's why. I, I did yeah, it. but in the beginning, I I kicked shit off. We was talking about the whole Kiki situation. So, but, but yeah. Tell me this, Heidi. So did she? Say but I appreciate your name? opinion as well, huh? Did, but did she say the guy's name was Rolex or no? Yes, that's what I thought. I mean, the shit it was fishy to me, but I don't know. Like I don't know, bitch. You know, I don't know. Do you think it was fishy a little bit or what? I don't because know. I didn't get a chance to hear the guy, but when me, I don't know if you got another tab open. Thank you, Christopher, because I can hear myself in your in your background. But when me and Dory had the conversation, I didn't ask Dory no questions. She told me that her man had a child by Kiki. And then when I came and brought that shit to the YouTube streets, they said I was a fucking liar. But now here we are, what, yesterday or whatever, and now suddenly Dory's over there at Jay Wilson's apparently, and she's the one that brought the guy to Jay Wilson's platform, right? Right, right. It was crazy. I was like, damn. Like, even I was like, whoa, this shit, this was just supposed to be a basic live. And then they came, and I, shit, I was trying to hear too. So I got a little confused with the guy and I was like, how, why would he contact her? Maybe she contacted him and said, you know, whatever or whatever, you know, Kiki's on here or whatever. I don't know. Maybe she was I, I, the I, one who contacted him. There's something that they're not telling because I remember, and I don't have a reason to make this up. And if anybody's been following me, for a long time, they will remember me telling that story. I mean, it would take me time to go through my old videos, but I could go through my fucking old videos and probably if I listen to them long enough, I will hear me saying it. And so I'm trying to think of who told me when they said, well, Kiki came out and cleared that out because what I also said that I thought was very strange is why is it that the moment that Kiki came back to YouTube, Dory disappeared? And then somebody told me, well, no, that really had nothing to do with it. Dory was going through some stuff. And I was like, well, I don't know. Because then Dory was saying to me, basically, in so many words, that she had a lot to do with the situation that happened at IHOP. Right? And she says, because her and Kiki have a relationship. They share um, 
they share baby father or whatever the fuck. And I was just like, oh, okay, for real. Now we all know that Dory has been known to talk, tell, um, talk tales or whatever. So I'm not trying to really like start no beef with her or anything like that. But I'm just telling the information as I remember it, her telling it to me. So now I'm hearing that some people are saying that they spoke to this man in the past and it doesn't sound like the same person. Well, if you guys can remember, there were some times when he would be in the background when she would be doing videos. Not well enough for me to say, well, I can remember his voice or anything like that. Because to be honest, I'm not checking for nobody else's husband or man to really be paying attention to their voice like that. But what I do find very suspicious, and this is just me. Why is it? Because I checked Kiki's wall because I said, well, let me see what Kiki is saying. So on Kiki's wall, Kiki says, well, I'm going to protect my daughter and I'm not going to speak on family business. So if it's not true, then why not just say that that's not true and Dory doesn't know anybody that knows me or even to Dory, why are you switching your story? Because you told me that the man that you were with, which was the Rolex guy, that he had a child by Kiki. Hold on, let me see what Vivian said. Cause I know Vivian and, and um Dory, they had a relationship for a second. Hold on, let me see what Viv. Okay. Viv says Dory has always said that she and Kiki shared a baby daddy. That I, that's what I'm saying. I know I'm not the only motherfucking person that heard that shit. And now here we are today, and it's a whole new story. And I'm like, what? So I just figured that because of whatever was going on with kiki because and kiki this is not against you either but dory told me that she helped play a part in that ihop situation because you and her had a relationship so i looked at it like okay dory wanted to get some shit kicked off so she kind of put kiki out there as bait Okay, they're gonna have to call me back. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just know that it's too many stories and the truth does not change. Okay, so Shireen, you're on um mute. Let me take you off of mute. Did you have something you wanted to add to this? Yeah, hi Shelly and hey, hey Heidi. How you hey doing? boo, what's up? God bless you, child. Uh, I understand. Um, that sounds like the Rolex to me. I ain't going to lie. Because y'all got to remember, it was a lot of times when she would be up here. And I don't have any issues with uh, Dory. I don't have issues. I don't want to create any more issues with anybody else. But when uh, she would be up here sometimes, remember, he would be in the background yelling and telling yes. her, like, just to get off get off of YouTube or he would get on onto YouTube and battle for her. That's that, that man. When I heard that, that's why me and no nonsense are in the chat talking about like, that's weird. Like, how are you going to try to play everybody like that? That's Rolex. <laughs> I remember that man's voice. He used to get on YouTube a lot. Yeah, because they would be talking about Dory, different stuff all, in the background. Because I don't think he was a fan of her acting crazy on the internet. You know what I'm saying? No, Being he didn't want stuff like that. Her. And you got to remember, they did a whole doxing about him. And they pulled up his record and everything. He was mad about that. He got on YouTube to defend his background and everything. So when I heard him on the platform yesterday, I was like, that sound like Rolex. And I remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know where Kimmy is at. I can reach out to her and see if she can come over. Um, I don't. Somebody lying about something. <laughs> I'm going to drop it's, down, it's, boo. I'm in the chat. Okay. Hi. Okay, boo. All hey, right. Heidi. Mm -hmm. One thing. At some point, maybe. Did you, send, did you email me? No, no. I didn't email you. Because um, I got to get your shipping information, too. Okay. It's, okay. I will put it I'm in the I'm going to get down um, with Heidi too because I have an okay. echo. Okay. Okay. Bye -bye. I will put it in the um the chat, but for you today. Um if Vivian, could you drop my P.O. box? 
what I want to say to you is if you could like just kind of figure out what day you want to do it because if it's going to be like a long time after like the trivia thing then I would like to get another palette for somebody as a part of like trivia um as a as a Christmas gift but if it's going to be a couple of days after then there's no sense in me doing that. I would gift it, you know, maybe in a different way. So let's just come up with oh, a date. Oh, okay. We'll come up with a date today. Okay, we'll, we'll come up with something. Forward. Yeah, we'll figure, so we'll come up with something today okay. by the end of the day. I'm going to email you. So dro you dropped your email? Um, My email, chat. I'll put it up on the screen. Your shit be under your videos, don't it? Yes, it's under, my PO box is under all my videos. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, but I'm in the chat. Okay. All, right. all right, thank you. Okay, so several people are here in the chat. Let me get to um Miss Creole Butterfly because I want to make sure that I'm putting this up here. Now, me and Miss Creole Butterfly have never talked, quote unquote, what they call behind the scenes. Everybody's saying the same thing. I told Dory she said he was Kiki's daughter's father in Ken's chat today. See? I wasn't even gonna come live today. I was just gonna wait and, and you know, I really didn't have nothing to say, but I'm like, wait a minute. Why are they pretending like we don't remember any of this stuff? And Dory, you also said that you had a bigger place or bigger part to play with IHOPGATE than what other people knew about it because you and Kiki had a relationship. So I'm just, I'm just confused. I'm just very, 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 very confused. Um, thank you, Dr. LaShonda. Now, I feel like, um, now somebody was saying that Kiki was saying she was going to call the police or whatever. And so that's another thing. I don't know if she really said that or if she didn't say it or whether it was a troll account or not. I think somebody was asking for Jay Wilson to verify the channel to see if that was really her or whatever. But it just didn't make any sense to me because if you don't know this man, if he's not your daughter's father or whatever the case may be, why would she be threatening to call the police? You know? I think it's just a lot of, um, she said it on live. Oh, she said on live that she was going to call the police? This is why I hate when I miss um, certain lives because sometimes you can watch the replay, but you just don't get everything out of the replay that you would get in the actual live. You know what I'm saying? If you were there. And please do not forget, I have Yousef's link pinned at the top. He lost his whole channel. If you guys could go ahead and give him a follow, um, I would really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and try to help him get up to a 1,000 so that he can go ahead and monetize his platform again and build from there. I'm going to try to call um, Kimmy right quick. Thank you so much, 337. Hey, boo, you got a second to come through? Yeah, I'm live because we on this Dory thing. And they were saying you was asking some good questions. So I want to see if you could come if you could come up. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, Kimmy's on her way over. It says threatening to call the police, but then threatening to call the police, but then today the tea was spilled that someone had a restraining order on Kiki and they have court in a few weeks. Mm. Well, who's the person that has a restraining order on her? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Who put a restraining order on Kiki? I don't know nothing about that one, to be honest. Cause I, I mean, I can't speak about other people. I don't go around and just be typing in people's names to see who is wanted and who got a warrant and who got restraining orders and who got court coming up and stuff like that. Thank you so much, MB. Oh, VS did. But I thought that, um, I thought that Kiki got a no contact against I mean I thought that Kiki got a no contact against VS when they already had went to court like a week ago 
So if you already have a restraining order, how do you get another one? How does the other person go around the opposite way and do it? I'm not understanding that either. Unless I'm missing something. I'm confused. Because I thought they gave them a restraining order uh, for the rest of the year. That's the um, the link right there, um, Kimmy. That makes no sense at all. Um, Vivian says, the baby daddy said, girl Kiki needs her ass beat. Oh, and then she typed in the chat that she was calling the police. Okay. And maybe he didn't literally mean she need her ass beat, but maybe he meant like she need her ass beat for bringing the child into the situation is what I'm thinking. Hey, baby. Hey, okay, cut your camera off, sis. All right. Hey, hey Yes. Shout out to all of y'all. Good to see you. Good mornings and afternoon. So, yes, sis. Girl, now you know I had to click that old nasty piece of link and ask questions. So, do you remember Dory saying that her and Kiki shared a baby father? Yeah, but I remember, I do remember that, but she, she, both of them said that's a lie. If they said it's a lie, did, don't it seem like they turned that thing right back around yesterday and brought it back around again? Well, Dora had said last year sometimes when all this shit came up, um, Dory had said that it was a lie. So that's what I, I you know, that's what I went with. Dory and if it's a lie, she's like, the one that told it. But but Dory has told many, many lies, Shelly. So we sister, we can't be we can't act like this ain't you know, this door first time around a lie bitch. Right. You want to say something real quick about that? Can I just real quick and I'll drop back down? Uh-huh. Hey, hey Kimmy. Hey, uh, this is a uh, Creole. Anyway, what I want to say, the update on that today, so y'all can pick up with this. Uh, I'm one of Ken's mods. The update with that today is the police took Ken's phone because of something she sent the police. Um, some some live that he did, she clipped a piece of the live and sent it to them. The police took his phone. So he was telling everybody today not to text him, Instagram, whatever you've sent him today, take it back uh, because the police now has his phone. However, if the police search through his phone and don't find any new pictures or whatever of this little girl, then he can press charges on her. And that's as far as that is. Now, as far as the BS thing, she says she had countersued and they got, uh, I mean, countered, uh, put papers on her and they got caught in two weeks because she hasn't spoken on that girl. And the girl has been speaking on her. She has clips and all this and all that and all that. But as far as Ken, it's really, really getting dangerous because like I said, that girl has, went a, you know, rejection is a mother when you don't know how to deal with it. And she has really went so far to where the police actually took his phone and everything. And so his baby was scared, you know, and all this and stuff. So that's the latest. Yeah. So let me drop down. Okay. Thank well, you for that because I didn't know nothing about that. Did you did you know that, Kimmy? Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. My problem is is that Kiki, that 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 girl is a prolific, dangerous liar because she tells the kind of lies that will get people harmed. Do you understand what I mean? Or can cause interruption in people's lives i don't play with people like that that's why i ignore that loser bitch but i'm telling you that i don't fool with her because that girl makes up the most fantastical ridiculous nasty rancid ass lies she can come up with and when you get to the root of it it's all it's one thousand percent because she wants attention that girl live and breathes attention. So at this juncture, honestly, I don't hold any art against anybody who is taking action against her because she is one of the most disgusting and ridiculous individuals I have ever encountered. She is a prolific liar 
and she tells the most horrendous and disgusting lies. Now, her and Dory both said that the baby daddy shit was a lie way back when. If it's the damn truth, child, then it, I don't know. But I'm just telling you that they both said that shit was a lie. So that's what I'm going with, sister. Okay, so I, I'm sorry, I was on mute. I'm confused why I even make the story up. If you know what I'm saying, like I'm not because gonna come you can't to... relate to it, sister. Well, because I can't get you're you're not right, you're right, I don't... Yeah, you yeah. Your mind can't wrap around it, and honestly, my mind could not wrap around it either until I have dealt with the kind of people I've dealt with here on YouTube. There are people that literally wake up in the morning and go to sleep contriving ways right here right now to come up with some type of way to get attention it is the most pathetic thing social media being accessible to everybody was the worst thing that could have ever happened because everybody wants to be a content creator and if that's not your gift then it's never gonna hit no matter how many fantastical lies you come up with no matter what you do, if you don't have it, you just don't have it. Um. Okay, so look. Suki says, he said the law showed up at 4 a.m. this morning to get his home. You know what that reminds me of? Remember when the Subway sandwich guy, when they came to his house and took all the, phone, the phones and computers and all that other crazy kind of shit? Mm -hmm. let me tell you something this is why a lot of times it does not even pay to be having relationships with these people on this internet because this then went way too far this is what is really given this shit then way went too far and i begged both of them to just leave each other alone me don't too. speak on each other but for whatever reason for whatever reason that couldn't be a thing okay well, but you know what shells again let me let me say it this way without showing my hand. Let me say it this way. Let me tiptoe around this thing. Hmm. Let me say it like this. I think this situation, because warning comes before destruction. Always. Always warning comes before destruction. We we all agree on that. Okay. So let me let me tiptoe around. Let me let me let me come let me come this way. This is an indicator of what's going to happen to anyone associating themselves with people who do reckless shit, who don't have nothing to lose. It doesn't take a week. It doesn't take, just because you post something and delete it don't mean that we don't have it. Doesn't right. mean that it hasn't been turned over to the authorities. Doesn't mean that there is not something in progress. See, the thing is, is that you always have to consider what this shit is really worth to you. You really have to, and you, Shelly, you've talked about this a lot. You have to really add that shit up. This is supposed to be entertainment app. Come on this whole, hit the fucking button and, and, and laugh and key to key and go on about your way. But it's a lot of people that I've come into contact with that are very reckless and who don't have shit to lose and so what happens is is that you go around and you start treating everybody the same way Shelly and then one day you wake up and realize that you have messed with everybody ain't playing with you right Vic thank you so much for the um super chat I truly appreciate it um I'm just like wow what the fuck you know what I mean like it's it's this it's the most it's the most ridiculous stupid ass stuff I have ever seen in my life because this is a situation that could have been left alone. And the thing is is that I have never encountered so many junkies, people with no teeth, people with not nothing to lose, like these motherfuckers on here, I guess they're just a microcosm of what life is truly about. But let me just tell you something. Nothing is worth this shit. 
If you are unhappy Nothing. in your life, you have to go find happiness outside of here. My source is G-O-D. Go find you one. Yes. But there has to be something in your life to where you can turn this motherfucker off and go have a good time. And if you can't smile outside of this, then your problems, you don't need to be on here because your problems are going to be exacerbated on here. Period. Right. And Uncle Claus, you ain't never lied. There's a Say thin that, line Uncle between Claus. entertainment and fuckery, especially with this sector. And let me tell you something. Sometimes people, and I even I used to say this back in the day, or I used to say, like, I don't have nothing to lose. No, we all have something to lose. Nobody wants to be sitting up in prison over some dumb ass shit that's supposed to be, quote unquote, entertainment. Hmm. But that's the thing. <clears throat> Y'all are asking questions about the particulars of a lie. Like, I'm not going to waste my time. I don't even acknowledge this person. The only reason why I'm even over here discussing this shit is because I'm having a conversation with my good sus and y'all, because I know y'all ain't going to tell nobody, right? But other than that, I don't even acknowledge the fact that that bitch is alive because she's despicable and she tells disgusting, despicable lies and she's going to end up coming upon somebody who ain't playing with her. Yeah, I think so this is far, far way too damn far. Yes, Shelly, yes. And, and you can't ask me to dissect the fucking lie. Are you crazy? I'm not dissecting no lies. I'm not interested in this shit. Y'all don't know that we know how to pay bitches dust around here? Baby. <laughs> I was just telling somebody today that I have a master's degree and paying motherfuckers dust. I know how to ignore like Tell no it. other. Okay. Tell it. Trust and, and believe. And that's what I'm saying. Like, sister, you have, like, bitch, in this season, y'all better learn how to pick up some dust, bitch. And I ain't talking about picking up no dust to be a dusty. I'm learning. I'm talking about picking up dust, bitch, to become, uh, the, the know how to be able to be an expert duster, bitch. To get to the shedding level of dusting a hole. To get to the Kimmy level of dusting a bitch. Because the thing is, is that y'all feel too compelled to pay too many people attention. I have told people, bitch, when I don't respond to you and I don't acknowledge you, I'm building a case. So your best bet is to leave me alone. Like, yeah. this shit is and, I'm, and, and let me tell you something, Kimberly. I'm not saying that Ken is uh, innocent in this at all. I'm not. Mm -mm. That's not what I'm saying. Nobody is saying that, but y'all gotta, y'all gotta be able to look beyond. See, that's the problem. Y'all have to be able to look beyond the individuals and look at the situation for what it is. I'm not making this a personality thing, Heidi. I'm making this a human being thing. You understand? Because the, the difference is, is that the, if you're going to say that you are a happy, well-adjusted, cheerful individual, then it is impossible for you to be that way and then be on here with that bullshit. Yeah, day impossible. in and day out. Day in and day fucking out. And then y'all wonder why Shelly Tate breaks. Child. And I'm going to tell y'all something. I don't know if this girl really lost her job or not. Yeah. But I know that a lot of people on here have lost jobs and stuff like that behind something that's supposed to be fucking entertainment. That don't make no sense to me. It at doesn't. All. It makes no sense. But it's been happening for years. So you have to take this shit for what it is and move the fuck around. And the thing is, is that the reason why I'm not going all into, oh, but well, this person did this and that person did that. And girl, we way past that point. And we're not even at that point in the discussion, child. I'm not even, the thing is, is that you guys have got to be able to see the, y'all can't see the forest for the trees. Don't make this a personality thing. I'm not discussing personalities. I'm talking about the situation as a whole. All parties had an opportunity to walk away from this shit and to leave people to fuck alone. 
multiple times, multiple content creators, including Shelly, including myself, Tracy. It was many of us that tried to get the individuals to leave this shit alone. And it wouldn't, people refused to do it. Right. So y'all can't tell me shit about shit because y'all only know what you see on the front end. But let's talk about the shit on the back end where people was making phone calls and begging, saying, hey, man, please just leave this shit alone. But they told me to mind my business. That I should have mind my business. Do you remember that? Baby. Do you remember after I stood here uh -huh. and, and tried to do it or whatever? And then they said, well, um, you trying to take up. For First of all, he never came to me. I looked at the situation and I said, look, this shit needs to stop. This shit needs to come to an end. What can we do to make this shit stop? Yes, you did. And motherfuckers dragged my ass about it. Okay. That's yes, they did. I was in your chat that day and I can't stand that dumb bitch. So I left. So, but the thing is, is that I even typed in your chat the same thing. Shells, you had, you were trying, sister, to do something that many of us had been trying to do. Right. And that I didn't know until afterwards. Cause I was mm -hmm. like, when people started showing me the receipts and everything, and then the next day, when they said, well, she's just going to do it again, I woke up and lo and behold, it was right back to where it was at. So I'm like, well, for whatever reason, they can't stop. So this is going to be, you know, what it is. Now, I do agree, Dr. Sophie, that chances are if she lost her job, it wasn't whatever call that he made. It must have right. been the third strike. But, but. But let me say this, and I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but if you are doxing on your mm -hmm. job, that could, if she lost her job, it could be because she was doxing using her company's uh, computers and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people out here be having jobs, and I'm not saying that because I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but first this is what one. I am saying. She wouldn't be the first one. we That's what I'm trying to tell you. We have people who come on here and they use their jobs in order to dox. Let's just say for an example, a person is working in hiring or whatever with uh, Walmart. They're, they're somewhere they work with Walmart. You could go in the system and put in Walmart. How many of us shop? And buy things from Walmart. Well, oh, okay. Kimmy. Oh, oh, this is the address she had to deliver that. Okay, boom. Here we go. We got that. You also have people who work in the medical field. And they abuse and they misuse. And if y'all think about it, a lot of this car stuff is coming up. Car with people, dealerships. Uh, car hospitals. dealerships. Yep. Let me tell you, when y'all start looking at a lot of information that has been coming up, this should be sealed or wouldn't be accessible to the average person. If y'all can't put two and two together to realize that people are using their jobs to gain that information, even if they're passing that information to somebody else, then that's just what it is, you know? And so, you know, back when... And this is what I had said about um, what I apologized to Kiki, the girl Kiki for, is because I was saying that, you know, she was um, Chris Crawf Crawford. That's what I was told or whatever. So Chris Crawford, whether it was really Kiki or not, was the one that was doing doxing and it was giving information. And it was doing this and doing that. So a lot of people do go get jobs. You know what I mean? That... Um, Oops, sorry, that's mad check. That um, where they're able to access certain information, you know, but it's it's also a chance that we all take when we come on this app. You know what I mean? Because you're looking at how somebody was in James. Somehow they know James' kids' information. Then they came on here. They was with Uppity's kid information. Well, Uppity's but case was different because. According to what they were saying, according to that the stuff that was on people's community walls, I saw 
and I watched Ness's and I watched Jay Wilson's on it, Shelly, that was, she abused her children and neglected her children per the yeah. documentation. Right. That's and, but, it, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, and they're not going to want to hear this. Come on. When you give apartment 22 a pass, she gave a goddamn kid medication and, and, and put them to sleep or whatever. She also beat up on one of the kids. All of this shit was proven on court documents. Yeah. Apartment 22 was never shunned. Apartment 22 was never treated in any kind of way that's, oh, well, we're not going to fuck with her. We're going to black her out because she tried to black her kid out or whatever. So, no. and I'm not taking up for fucking um, uppity. But what I am saying is what goes for one should go for all. And if we're not going to do that, then I'm not going to be a part of any, well, we got to take this person out of our sector because they abuse their child. None of us should be turning the other cheek while somebody is abusing their child or any mm -hmm. child for that matter. Or any vulnerable population. Whatsoever. There you go. Like, I agree with you on that. Um, I would never have anything to do with that toothless whore. So as far as I'm concerned, fuck her to the day she, I, I don't, to the rapture come home. Like, I will never, there is never an opportunity. And you know I'm a forgiving person, but you know when I, when I say I'm done, that's it. That person, I will never, never. After uh -uh. what she pulled in my contest, come on now. She don't ever have to worry about me ever again. And I don't care. I know a lot of people do the makeup to break up no, every uh -uh. other day. I'm not here for it. I don't nope. have no time for it. I don't have to dwell on it. And I don't even have to speak on it. It was what it was. And I made my decision before I even found out about the kid with pissy clothes going to school or whatever. Right. I and made my decision. I don't want to sit beside. Like, I, I didn't want nothing to do with the bitch before then. And I told you that. You yes. know what was still so funny to me? It really, and, and this just goes to show, let me just tell y'all this, and I know Shelly wouldn't mind me saying this. When Shelly told me that Uppity was going to be a part of the contest and that Uppity had made publicly concerns about the fact that I was one of the judges, Shelly, of course, came to me and mentioned it. And I was like, I would never, which Shelly wasn't questioning it anyway. But mm -hmm. in full transparency, <clears throat> of course, from a professional standpoint, Shelly addressed it. Shelly addressed it. She came to me and I said, Shelly, I think she's a disgusting, despicable piece of shit. However, I would never disrespect your contest um, or even your platform by um, judging her unfairly. I said, I would never do that. And she should think more of you. And I'm not the only judge. Um, there's a plethora of judges. I said, and um, when I judged Ness's contest, there were majority of those people I didn't have any interactions with or they don't like me or I don't like them. And I still showed them the utmost respect and gave and extended them professionalism. That's the part that toothless dumb piece of shit didn't know about. So we had yeah. already had that conversation in full transparency ahead of time. So when it came time for the contest, Again, none of the judges ranked her in the highest echelons. So it was left up to the people and the chat ranked her dead last because she's a dead last ass bitch. Bloop. And to be honest, she was saying she had concerns about Jay Wilson. Me and Jay Wilson had had a conversation and I knew that he had some other things that he was going to do or whatever. So I was like, look, you can go ahead and sit this one out because I have more than enough judges. I said, I'm going to go ahead and have Yusef come up and, you know, maybe I'll use you another time or whatever, because he was already turned off with the whole judging and stuff like that. So I also don't want people to do stuff that they don't feel comfortable, you know, doing. But her and Yusef have a good rapport. So I'm like, OK, maybe this will make her feel, you know, a little bit better. But I'm never. And this is just for the record. Anything that I'm doing here on my platform, 
I'm not changing it based on how people feel about anybody that I feel okay with. You get what I'm saying? Right. Because these people are doing me a favor and they don't have to do it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, once she pulled that, this was before the situation came up. But even with that, that so-called kid came into my chat. I didn't even know what the fuck they was talking about. I just was like, I don't know what you want me to tell you. And I just moved the fuck on. Right. But even with that being said, I went into her live and I was like, well, look, you know, I don't condone you being docs. This is before I knew anything about the record or what it had reflected or anything like that. She cussed me the fuck out, called me all kind of phony bitches and everything else, but then made a video and was like, thank you for my money. Um, I bought my Halloween costume or some shit. I didn't even listen to it because once I'm done, I'm fucking done. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she went and participated in Nika's contest. Didn't win. I believe she got $15 because I know that's what Tracy's world had gotten. She was complaining about it. Lovey Love had gotten $15. Uh, $15. She cussed Nika out even before she got the $15 and after the $15. And so Uppity got her $15, max 20, and she was pleased with it. But I sent her $60, and yet I got cussed out and all kind of other stuff. So with that being said, I was like, never, ever will I again, ever, ever, never, uh-uh. No. No, 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 and she didn't deserve, hey, OG, hey, everybody. She didn't deserve the 60, in my opinion. Right. She did not deserve the 60, in my opinion. However, um, I didn't put up a fuss about it. It wasn't my business as far as who you asked us to do a specific job to rank number one and number two. And that's what we did, Shelly. And I'm proud of the job that all of the judges did. And again, I even owned my shit. I did laugh uncontrollably when her camera got stuck. I did. It was funny and I laughed. Okay? And I pulled it back together. <laughs> yes! Just for you, girl. Just for you. Just for you, girl. I, I had one of the snipers took that and they sent it to me and they said, please give this to Kimmy. They said, please give this to Kimmy. And I said, okay. <laughs> Don't give me the laughing because <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Child. You know what? I start laughing. I can't stop. <laughs> Child, let me move this off here before goddamn because Kimmy gets some stitches over this damn uh, picture, honey. <laughs> They sure did send it to me too. And what's up, third? I see you. Oh, and Shelly gonna sit up and say <laughs> Shelly knew what I was laughing at that day, y'all. <laughs> and I still was keeping a straight face. I was tired as hell that day, too. Shelly said, uh, we ain't fucking with Kimmy. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. Woo. Sis, here's another thing. I know you said you're not doing no more contests. You're not doing no more judging. But I put you in the contest with me and what? um with me and Heidi. Um, you're not gonna do that with us, sis. No, 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 not if Buzz Lightyear up there. Uh-uh. Who's Bug Light Bug Light I light Uh V Lenore. You know I don't fuck with that bitch. I don't know nothing about V Lenore being in no, any contest. In that chat that they talking about. Oh, I might have been saying that because she, you know, she's a Pisces and everything. But what, um, but what Kimmy, I mean, not Kimmy, what Heidi wanted you to do, I think she wanted you, me, and her, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Heidi, I think she wanted us to be like the judges. Yeah, yeah. I like, know. quote, unquote, the judges and hosts. Wait a minute. No? I said I'm retired from Judge and Shells. I know, but I put you back in it again. And so, um, <laughs> I put you back in it. I put you back in it or whatever. Because, oh. you know, we, we have a good time. And she said Joyce, too. So, I was like, come on, me, you, 
Joyce and Heidi, we can't go wrong. You get what I'm saying? We're gonna have some nasty old piece of drinks or whatever. Um, and well, I think I we'll, drink, so I be drinking sweet. Tea. Hey, wait, when is it? We don't have a date yet, but this is what I was thinking, Heidi. I was thinking December 30th. I don't know if that will work for y'all. Um, because okay. I feel like by that point, all the other challenges would be over, right? Yeah, cause I yeah okay that that yeah, Shannon, you know what you cut I know I you. know I put you in it and then uh, I think Heidi was saying that Joyce would be a good contestant, but then you also have sore losers on here, and if Joyce enters as a contestant, they'll probably turn around and say, well, no, cause she do makeup on her channel, you know, like how they try to do mo or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got yeah. mad because Mo came through like this and laid it down. Okay. Talk about she working for a catering company. Where? So I can hire her. Girl. Because yeah. they don't have this type of stuff in their house. No, I, don't, I think that Joyce, anybody should be able to participate. Um, Anybody should be able to participate. Let me stop looking at chat before I start laughing again. Anybody should be able to participate. <clears throat> I don't have a problem with that. <clears throat> Well, I tell you what I will do when I'm doing my trivia for subscribers, subscribers only, I will gift one of Heidi's makeup palettes, um, the eyeshadow palettes, the same stuff that we're going to be using. I will gift one. So whether a person is in the contest or whether they're just a subscriber and they just want to get fly like us, what I will do is that date on the 10th, I will... Um, <laughs> And I could probably even do it before then. I will pay Heidi for it. And whoever wins, you will contact Heidi with your information and oh, she'll okay. send it out to you. Now, I know some people, and I just want to say this, I'm not taking up for Heidi because we're cool or whatever, but I saw somebody saying, well, I'd rather order it through the website because I don't want her with my information. Let me tell you something. People who have businesses and they got their businesses from the dirt. And I've seen Heidi build her business from the dirt up. Yeah, okay? she really did. They don't play with that type of stuff. They don't use their business to take anybody's information to um, to post it, to share it, or anything. She would never, I'm, I'm here to tell you, she would not do that at all. No, because um, it's been years since she had her, her business. And <clears throat> it's been years. Heidi was was one of the first look at you and see girl dropping down talking about it was me i'm just yeah, I'm you, you said it but other people may be thinking it yeah but and i'm just Heidi, here to tell Heidi you has had her business for years and i have never um ever heard anybody even her enemies nobody has said that and Heidi did invite buzz so i support but i can't i'm not listen in this season i'm trying to get to heaven girl I don't need nothing to inhibit the possibility of me going. And y'all are listening. And, I, and I can respect that because if there's something or somebody that I don't want to be around or I don't want to sit with, then I'm not going to do it. But I just figured with me, you, and Joyce, and, um, with me, and, and Heidi, and Joyce and Heidi, we would have a good we ass would time. Have a ball. We would have a ball. But uh, Buzz Lightyear, no. Hey, Joyce. I see Joyce just came hey, in here. Joyce. Hey, baby. So <laughs> now, as far on. as the makeup and mm -hmm. for contestants that want to do makeup, I know that Vivian was saying like she doesn't know how to put on eyeshadow. I think that makes it even more of a challenge. You know what I'm saying? I don't think anybody that's entering the contest is like a makeup artist. Man, you know? I'm not either. <clears throat> I'm not either. My makeup always look the same. I don't give a damn. I be saying, bitch, I'm finna slay y'all hoes with this smoky eye and that shit come out regular every time. So at this point, I cannot consider myself a professional. <laughs> uh, uh, girl, I'm not. I just do all natural makeup is better for me than the paint because I just don't do a good paint. I, it always looks the same, shells. Like I can never get out of a nude natural look. So I don't know. But so I think Vivian should join because um vivian i think it it makes the competition better and more interesting because vivian think about it this way sister 
you're going to be a, you're going to appeal to the viewers who don't really wear makeup all the time. Exactly. You know? so and you're when Vivian bought to the demographic, yeah. When Vivian bought the lip, the lippy from Heidi, that purple, it looks so good on her skin tone. I could see that on her skin, yeah, absolutely, because that that richer skin tone, red. Let me tell y'all something, especially my melanated sisters, the brown girls in the room. No matter which shade of brown you are, baby. A red or blue base red or a good deep purple or a berry, it just pops on our skin. I'm telling but you. But you know what, Kimmy? You be wearing red lipstick and it look good on you. And when I wear red, that shit looks like shit on me. Okay. <laughs> no, you just it looks like a little shit bit on me. Of a deeper red, sister. Whenever we do meet up shells, I'm gonna get that red on you. Well, that's another thing, too. Um, I need to talk to y'all also because I do want to meet up with some of my people um, next year, you know, because next year is almost here. And so I'm torn in between Jamaica or here in the DMV, right? The thing with Jamaica, I'm kind of on the fence with that because I don't know that everybody would have a good time per se. Mm. Um, meaning because my house is not like, down the street from the beaches and stuff. You know what I mean? It's just local living. You know what I mean? Not yeah. saying that we can't get to the beaches and stuff like that. Yeah. But I don't want to invite people places and then they like, oh my God, girl, she had me at her house. Ain't no fucking air condition. We went to go take a shower. It's only cold water. Like we don't have the solar for the hot water and stuff like that. I had that in my first house, but we don't, we don't have. Um, yeah, I'm going through menopause, sister. So I got to have like, Girl, I'm gonna have to carry around a, like one of them little personal fan things so I can stay cool. <laughs> so I can stay cool. But uh, I, the only thing I have with Jamaica, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna drop down so I can text you, and then I'll come back up if you want me to. Okay. Okay. I want to show you this um too before you go. I don't know if you ever seen this. I bought this um okay. She gone. I bought this a long time ago, and I never used it. Right. I want to show it to y'all because when Vivian says she don't know how to put on eyeshadow, and I'm not saying I'm no expert. I ain't got no bra on. Y'all going to have to work with me today, okay, because I'm in the bed in my house. Let me see how y'all can see this. Can y'all see this? It's called Eye Magic Instant Eyeshadow. So you press... Oh, sorry, wrong way. You press this on your um your eye and it does this see it's showing it backwards it does this for you so i think that's kind of cool you know what i mean like if you have issues trying to put it on or whatever now some people they get out of control they be having it way all the way up here and all this other type of stuff but um Viv, i think that's something i want to talk to you more about because i said once you came back from um bahamas that we would talk about it so um and make a decision whether i want to do the jamaica thing or if i want to just invite people to dc the only reason why i was thinking jamaica is because we're spending a lot of money and literally there's nobody at all in the house nobody at all there's nobody there you know what i mean um Still got to pay for Wi-Fi. Still got to pay to get the grass cut. Still got to keep up all that stuff. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, but I do want to come up with something because um, there are some people that I do want to see because, like I said, life is very, very short and you just never, ever know. And sometimes it reaches a point where you just need to meet up with people. So, we may go with the um, the DC thing. So I'm not for sure. We'll talk to um, Vivian about it. So the last thing I want to talk about before I leave about it here, because I am at one hour. Let me check my phone. Oh, okay. Gotcha, boo-boo. Gotcha, sis. Um, so I reached out to StreamYard the other day. Y'all know I've been having issues with my StreamYard. So when I did the brunch challenge, I couldn't even bring people up. I had to have Vivian doing everything for me. Um, it kept kicking me off, all this other stuff. So I reached out to StreamYard because they have a live chat, by the way, in case you don't know. So I hit the live chat up 
And they gave me this link where I could test the speed and all this other type of stuff that was going on. But they literally wanted me to give them timestamps of my videos for when people got kicked off the panel or when I couldn't get on the panel and when I was having all of these different issues. And it's like, is that really my problem to go back through my videos and pinpoint every second and every problem that I've been having with them? So I asked them, when was my membership going to be up? So they said my membership was going to be up on the 23rd of this month. So, oh, Kimmy, um, they said the 23rd of this month and they were going to charge my card again because, you know, they, they automatically just charge your card. If you pay yearly, they would just swipe your card and make you pay it again. But I don't think they could do that to me because I lost my card and I had to get a new one. So that card, I don't think they would be able to um, swipe it unless I use my husband's, which I don't think I did. But I know I did one year. But anyway, um. I personally think, and this is just me, I personally think that we should move over to Ustream. And I think that we're all giving our money to StreamYard because one person used it and then everybody started using it. Restream is a lot cheaper. They have better graphics. And even for their free service, they don't have any watermark. Um, it's less auto issues. And stuff like that. So I think for me, I probably will be using Restream. Another thing I like about Restream is once you drop the link, like if I drop the link for Kimmy and let's say Joyce wants to come up, Joyce cannot use that link that Kimmy used to come up. I would have to drop a whole new link in order for Kimmy to come up. I mean, sorry, Joyce to come up. And I think that's good because now we have these people like the other day. I told Sheila and random to meet me backstage and I had two different people making fake accounts. One of them made an account that said Vivian just to come in the back chat to see what the fuck it was that we was talking about. And little did they know it was nothing in the back chat. And what we were talking about, what we were talking about was God. <laughs> we were talking about God. But they wanted to ear hustle about God. Won't you go find him instead of ear hustling? Okay. I love you too, Alexis. So, um, so I would just say that for me, I can't speak about anybody else, but right now, this is the time where StreamYard in Restream, they do the Black Friday sale. You do not have to pay $240 for the year for StreamYard. OK, you can pay one hundred and ten dollars. And with Restream, I believe for like the Black Friday sale, if it's the same as last year, I think you get it at like five or six dollars. I think you can get it for the year for like maybe like seventy five, eighty dollars or some shit like that. So I think it's just time that we kind of look into it. I'm just so used to StreamYard and the, the backstage and how that's all set up you know i know some people be saving their videos and they have the memory and all of this other crap but for me i'm tired of giving my money away and my money not being respected you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so that's where I, that's how i feel about that and for me i have the brunch, which will be on the 19th, I'll still have my paid stream yard so I can have my 10 people up. And then the makeup challenge with Heidi, that's going to be on Heidi's channel because respectfully, you know, even though I kind of said, you know, came up with the concept, I think she should get those clicks and views. Heidi's going to be a judge and a viewers of view is going to be a judge on my brunch part two. And I think that fair... Um, Fair exchange is no robbery. If somebody's pouring into your channel, you should pour into their channel. Nobody has to be greedy and try to have everything for themselves. So that's what I wanted to say about that. Um, other than that, um, we are at, let me make sure I took this one off. We are at $341. For the brunch, 
And I'm not going to lie. I would love to reach another uh, $100 um, or at least reach $400. Will I reach there? I don't know. Um, but I would like to. So again, if you want to contribute to the brunch, you can um, send $1. That's all I'm asking for. I feel like, you know, a um, dollar is not going to put anybody, you know, make your bills or whatever be behind or anything like that. And I'm not greedy. There are other people that have competitions going on. And I do think all the smoke, she has been dropping the, the links and the dates for everyone who has been having competitions. I will be a judge with Rose Bennett Skillet, and that will be a gift wrapping contest. And the prize for that is $200, right? So um, also too, Heidi, you can drop your cash app in the chat. And if you want to be um, in the makeup competition, you can get the palette for $20. And so that's at a discount. Um, if you want to just get it through her that way, and she will go ahead and ship it out to you and boom, bam, boom, bam. I feel like that way we're supporting a black business. We're also having fun, um, and some more, and we're all going to be using the same palette. So I think that's what makes it even more fun because you get to see like, how is the eyeshadow going to look on me and my skin tone compared to maybe Vivian compared to maybe Joyce or compared to whomever else. Right. So I'm looking forward to all of those things. I mean, all of these things really do take time. Even me yesterday, I was working on my banner for the, um, Friday fellowship podcast. That was all the stuff I was doing when I woke up in the middle of the night, um, working on that. So um, hopefully I will come next Friday. Not even, no, hopefully I will come through next Friday with that. I'm going to drop the link one more time. And unless you guys have any questions for me or unless someone needs to come up, I will be concluding today. And I will just say that somebody is not telling the truth about something because we have, um, oh, my baby Yusef is coming in. Hello? Hey, Yusef. Hey. Oh, wait. That's the wrong mic. Oh, my God. Um, there we go. That should be a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm on a 15-minute break. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, Yusef. It was a pleasure working with you. I enjoyed you as well, honey. And I, I apologize to all the judges for laughing like I did, but it was funny. It's all right. Y'all all shady like that. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good time all in all. You know what I mean? Right. I wish I had a little bit more energy that day. I was drained. And then I had went to church too. And then when I be coming from church, that's another thing I noticed too. If I'm going to do anything where I need to be shady, I need not to schedule that thing on Sunday. Because I be going to church and my spirit be so, you know what I'm saying? You know how I be, Kimmy, when you be feeling bad and everything yeah, yeah. <laughs> about the stuff you done done. So you be trying to be on your best behavior. The hell out of you. Yeah, it's like taking a good dose of Zoloft, bitch. You you can't get mad at nobody. You go to rethinking everything, every mm -hmm. anger, everything. Hey, Joyce Poogie. Hey, hey yes. Joyce. I hope y'all, I hope y'all participate or at least come through next week for um fellowship Friday because I know you ladies are true believers. Oh, yeah. you, you, told about it. you told us about it, but um, just shoot us the time, sister. Oh, you like what I sent you, Shells? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just had to come on here and look at y'all like this with that uh, pre eyeshadow little gimmick. No, don't. No, ma'am. Well, what's wrong with it? I never yeah. used it before. Why? What happened? That's not going to work, man. No, I'm not going to use it for the contest. This one already got makeup on it. I can't think you can change the color. Ashley said hi. Hey, hey Ashton. baby. Hi. Look at them braids, girl. <laughs> I said, when I saw that, I was like, uh-uh. No, don't play with me, Shelly. You know how I feel about ghastly gimmick old products. <laughs> I mean, I bought it like, baby, I bought this probably like two, three years ago. And oh, I just saw no. it and was like, I don't know. I might be exaggerated by that, um, Joyce. But anyway, I bought it a long okay. time ago. I just never used it. And it said, um, 
It says metallic shades. I might use it one day just to see what it do. Okay. And, but I mean, and, I don't, I, I never thought that I needed to do that, but I just saw it and was like, okay, you know. So did you decide, Joyce, what you're going to do? Maybe Ashley. Well, no, no, no. I'm sorry. My baby can't be a part of no contest. I don't know what the <laughs> hell I was just about to think and say, because nope, nope, ain't happening. Um, so did you decide, Joyce, if you're going to be a judge or you're going to be a contestant? I, I think I'd rather be a judge because if I'm a contestant, I'm going to win it, period. Well, then, that, then, 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 damn it, then you need to goddamn get in it, lovely love. And as, and you know what Ashley said, mama, why would you not get in there and win that money? I was like, you know what, she, she, she the boss. But no, I don't think that. My thing is, if we're all judges, who's going to enter the contest? That's what I'm saying, Joyce. You That's what it's looking like now today. We're going to have a bunch of judges and no contestants. Vivian. Okay, Vivian. We need, we need people that have makeup levels at every level. So if you have a newbie, like a newcomer to it, like, like um, Vivian, then you have somebody who knows their way around makeup like you, then that's, that's what we need. What about watermelon sugar? Oh, yeah, they did bring up her name. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know if Heidi's connected with her. Because, you know, some people, they don't want to be a part of something if they're not cool with the people or they don't know the people. You know what I mean? But I think she mm -hmm. would be good for it. I well, seen someone say that she does uh she's good at uh Catherine Powell said go for it, Joyce. Okay. Yeah, why not? Shoot, that's like when Ben's be doing all these competitions, and then when it comes down to the men, don't nobody want to show up. I said, shoot, I'm about to put a goddamn mustache and a beard on and go into so I can go ahead and walk away with that $125 real quick. Okay. So look, now you know I'm on break, so I got like a couple minutes or whatever, right? And I just wanted to come up here and say a couple things. Um, hello and thank you to everybody, but for sure, thank you, Shelly, for sharing out my channel. You know, I'm gonna talk about it, you know, later. This ain't the first channel I had deleted, but this is the first time this happened to me in a while. I thought I was doing good, you know, but I got a hater, and it was a particular individual. I got some screenshots of his hateful comments and posts towards me, threatening to take my channel down with his computer savvy, and it happened all in the same week, and so almost 3,000 videos, almost 4,000 subs um, gone. And they already be trying to play me to the left because of the nature of my content, you see. And I understand that this world is for everybody, but there is a such thing as a safe space, especially the one that you create for yourself, you know? So even though this is a non-black platform, I understand that and I appreciate that, but I'm never going to act like that's the end all be all. I got all kind of friends or family of all walks of life that's not going to stop me from seeing what it is that I'm seeing or what it is that I'm passionate about. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> at the end of the day, I already knew that it was a risk that I run being on a non-black platform, talking the way I was talking about the things I was talking about, because they don't have no issue with us fighting each other. They don't got no issue with us talking about um, black on black crime and stupid stuff or whatever, or even talking about racism. The issue is that they used to us and want us to be on the crying side of that. So I don't want y'all to ever underestimate what somebody say when somebody sacrifice their voice for the people, when they sacrifice their platform and their image and their brand for the people, because that's exactly what I've done and what it just happened to me again. And I literally meant everything I said. It just proves my point even more, makes me more outraged about it. And it's just a never ending cycle to where it's a lot of revolutionary spirits in the community that get cooped up and we get played to the left like we're mean and like we're hateful when we're really all trash. Um, you know, we're all the bomb and we're gods and goddesses and everything, but we're trash. And so, you know, if you really care and love about black people, then you would be honest with it. If you really got some kind of pride, you're not going to be a coward to racism and keep turning the other cheek all the time. And I'm tired of our people being some pussies. I really am. And so, you know, yeah, I'm revamping my channel. I got my backup channel, you know, it's supposed to be my spiritual channel. It could be the universe letting me know to get back to that or whatever the case is. But it's just designed that way to discourage the black voice and it will not discourage me. And so at the end of the day, anything that I ever said, I meant it, you know, and I don't make videos out of hate. I don't say things out of hate. I say things out of possibly passion and possibly rage, but it's truly out of love that I have for my own people. So, you know what I'm saying? And um, so that's the thing, too. And uh, yum, yum, yes. And when I say who is we speak for myself, I just said I'm speaking for myself about the 
lane that I created for myself. And so for the like-minded individuals that I attracted, that's who it was there for, not anybody else to feel entitled to that space where uh, those certain types of like-minded black individuals have a safe space to do. Hold on like one second. I'm sorry, Yusef. Do you mean the link that I posted for Yusef is not coming up? Is that what you mean, Locked in Lovely? Are they posting the old channel? No, no, I posted. Uh, uh I'm. Oh, hold on. I wonder if Vibrant post because I I pinned Vibrant's um link up and not the one that I personally did myself. So oh, thank you all. Thank see. you all. Um, oh, yep, really yep. That one. Ooh, ooh, thank you so much for saying yeah. that. Hold on, guys. That link doesn't work. Right. Link. Also, oh, yeah, I mean, there is a such thing as the voice list. Just because it doesn't relate to you, that doesn't mean you discredit it. That's the reason why black things don't get the right to grow when it has black centered. When it's black centered, see, y'all used to inviting and having everybody, and that's a part of what keeps us colonized. That's a whole nother part of the story that we can get further into that when you come to my channel and listen to my thought provoking commentary. Not one mind leaves my channel dry without full of thoughts and laughter and inspiration and empowerment the power is in you the whole point is to inspire you that the power is there so if that don't work for you it don't work for you everybody got their way they got martin they got malcolm they got harriet they got all the ones they do what they do but the point is they got them okay and so oh, let's move right on along yep yeah, so and this ain't nothing but a part of the revolution baby this is how it goes real voices get silenced real voices gotta tiptoe around and do a little harder and sugar bump and butter lump bullshit for you we gotta sit around and engage in the dysfunction of our community in order to succeed i get it okay okay um i want to thank i want to thank um lost brain cells and i also want to thank um stacy robertson for your um donation towards the brunch we are now at 376 dollars so that is great um improvement i will tell you this though we are all entitled to our opinions however with youtube because they are really cracking down on some stuff you're free to say what you want but not without consequences now also too um, there was a situation that happened here a couple days ago. I really don't want to get into that because I do need to speak with that person, um, you know, separately right. past that. Um, I, I, don't want to offend, them, I don't want to offend, I don't want to offend my either. audience because I do have people from all. Yeah, I don't want to offend nobody either. Can I can say that I come in peace and that it's a disclaimer. I come in peace and everybody think for themselves. I'm only speaking for myself and I'm trying my best to be as calm and politically correct and, as, and respectful as possible that like I understand all the different things, but I, what I'm trying to get people to understand is that even the guidelines are biased. You can type in everything for everything that they say they're against and there's millions of results for it available on YouTube. And I was replying to a person who was being racially hateful and threatening towards me because I have black media okay and coming towards me and since i got on his level and drug him then i got the fuck deleted so the biasness of that there that's what i want y'all to understand so even if you're going to try to do what you got to do behind enemy lines i got to try to do it too but we're not going to sit here and act like y'all know what the hell i'm talking about and keep using antidotal evidence to talk about you ain't speaking for me and be careful what you say this is still a white platform all the things that i said in the beginning i already acknowledged all of that and so, you know, I and I'm saying that with respect, you know what I'm saying, to everybody, because I never be, and that's what I'm saying is passion. People, two people going back and forth, you can still listen to the argument and hear what they're talking about and still have the person who's right and who's wrong. You know what I mean? And, well, and let me ask listening. you this. Did you, which package do you have with StreamYard? Do you have pay package or? No, I got the package where you uh, use every email known to man. 20 uh, hours at a okay. time. No, no, no. Reason why I asked that is because I was thinking, like, if you could just go back, and you know, your videos will still be there. But then, then that still is, but that defeats the point because, um, Derek he uses some type of place to like stores his videos or whatever. But every time he re puts those videos back up, he ends up losing his channel again because it's the same content. You know what I mean? So if you do the same thing, you know what they say, that's insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different outcome. Right. Now, what I did not know, and I don't know if you guys know this, Kimmy and Joyce, um, did you know that you can share a StreamYard link? Um, like, 
let's say when you go under like the record, you're not live, but you can just go record or whatever. You can share that link and the person can come and listen to that. So you don't really need to go under like a YouTube or Facebook or whatever else like that. Did you guys know that? Yeah. I no, know. I didn't know I that. Mm -hmm. I just never invested in StreamYard. Um, you know, I, I started out using Melon, uh, which I loved. Um, I just never invested in StreamYard because it was glitchy for me. It was always very it's, glitchy. Yeah, it's, it's definitely glitchy for me, and it's driving me crazy because when I put um, my time and effort and to doing shows, I don't just come live and press a button and whatever Ooh. happens, happens. Now, today I kind of did that because I was just like, okay, well, I was supposed to come through with my um, Friday fellowship, but I had two women that were a part of it. And all three of us had talked like two times about it. Both of those people became sick. And it was the last person I spoke to who wasn't feeling well, but was like, regardless, I will still come. And that's Miss Tiara. You know her, um, Yusef, because she's on your uh, platform yeah, uh, quite Tiara. often. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, she was like, well, you know, so she was saying, like, come on, we can still do it. But how I wanted to do the show, it wasn't kind of a free for all. You know what I mean? Things were set in a format. And when the people don't show up, hence why I was upset with Ken. Because when I was doing my brunch, instead of me just doing my show and worrying about that, I was literally editing backstage um, you know, while I'm doing my show because now he's not in it. I got to take him out of this video, you know, and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's just, that's just that with that. But um, the thing about what you were saying about beating the dead horse, you're so right. And guess what? Um, your uh, an unk girl and UNC girl, you beating the dead horse, you're absolutely right. And so that's a part of the lesson. And it was also part of the method to the madness. But at some point, like as Hutchinson said, the insanity aspect of it. And so I was literally in the process of changing. I hear an echo, but I was uh -oh. really oh, okay. I can go on mute. Go ahead. I was really in the process of changing and developing in my cocoon phases. I was still getting some of the harsh topics and stories out and just still just the pressure of feeling like you don't want to leave these stories unattended because no one already, they're already underreported stories. They're already having the wrong reaction. So it, it makes you feel compelled to speech. And so, you know, in the process of trying to get more into my food brand and back into the uh, celebrities and other things like that of that nature, I always just go back so serious, you know? And so I'm literally working on that, you know? But um, I deserve the right to grow um, and learn from that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And even what um, Dr. Sobey said, I offended people who supported me. Well, sorry, you know, because I think I offended everybody equally. And that's the, the realness of me, that you can see that, yes, I could go in real ham salad soup and sandwich, but everybody gets it. I don't just focus on whites. I don't just focus on blacks. I don't just focus on men. I don't just focus on women. I don't just focus on gays. I focus on the evil in us all that everybody wants to scream is good and bad and all, but running from, you know, whatever and over there in your bliss and that's fine. But, um, you know, so either way, the right to learn and grow from my choices is what I have a part of my, um, Thank, thank you, Dr. Soapy. And I hope that that's genuine because I genuinely don't mean to offend anybody who truly supports me, but I would hope that people think for themselves and inspired by the way I think so freely to think on their own, even if it's disagreeing with me. So, yes. And um, so, again, the intent is never about word. Like, I don't worry about who's offended as much as I worry about what is the rightest thing to say far as the things that are always unsaid. So, you know, still working on that and growing and I have the right to grow. And um, nothing is going to stop me or, you know, dwindle the light or the voice that is me. Um, I got plenty of names and personas to transition into. And that's what I was working on. Literally just ordered. And that's all the universe. When I tell you divine timing last night before I laid down and woke up to the channel gone after that troll threatened me. Do you understand that I purchased a external hard drive with 20 terabytes? 
trying to download some of my videos because the last channel I was almost to 5,000 subscribers and it was a thousand and something videos on there that was lost. And so I was sitting here, was thinking about it and just felt it in my spirit and started, was ready to get that. And it ain't even here yet. And already the channel's gone. And so everything happens for a reason. And one thing that I know that I'm capable, just like the same thing that I see in a lot of black people that don't even see it in themselves, you could come back from anything. Watch me work though. Okay, and think I'm gonna take back anything I the fuck said. Think I didn't mean anything I said. Think I wasn't really passionate about anything that I sacrificed my whole brand for. Kiss my black ass, period. And shout out to Miss 313 Freedom Fighter and everybody in the chat, period. Rather, you know, you love it or like, like it, you know, that's the point of it. Um, we get used to a lot of things that are dysfunctional. A lot of people participate in things that are part of the dysfunction of the community. But um, when it comes down to holding things accountable, people, places and things and even taking accountability ourselves, we get frustrated because a lot of the stuff makes people feel like, well, dang, I've been participating in that. And we're all guilty. I mean, we all have to DN word rise ourselves, you know? Yeah. Well, the, those are things, you know, you just have to start those conversations back up on your new platform. If I would do, what I would do is I would go live every day. Because consistency is truly the key. Um, I remember when I started up the latest page that I had did, I came through every day. I said, I'm going to come through every day until I get to my thousand. I'm going to come live every day until I um, until I get my watch uh, time. Oh, shoot. Don't say nothing too much. I'm, I'm, I'm on okay, live. So I don't want to. Um, hold this on. This is my last thing, and I promise y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me, too. I appreciate you. We can um, not hear and not say all the things that we feel like we don't want to say or that we shouldn't hear or that we feel is negative or that we don't want to face. We can live in our bubbles, not hearing those things, but does it make us grow? We can live a life without accountability and without awareness and consciousness, but does it make us live in a full experience? Are we getting the full quality of life out of that experience? You know what I mean? Um, really? A lot of this stuff, literally all these different social issues weigh down on people's health. Negativity or talking about the things that are hard isn't the only thing that weighs down on your health, people. Hold on. I, UNC girl said something that was good, and mm -hmm. I wanted to I want to read that. Um, UNC girl says, what, are, what you're saying makes sense, but if you're routinely finding yourself in circumstances that requires you to explain yourself and apologize... For nothing, maybe it's a sign you're addressing the wrong audience. I agree with that. Well, I would say I attracted the wrong audience because my audience that I cultivated throughout the years know me for me and love me for me. And they're not trying to change that about me. It's the new people that come in and think that they can change the way we think and change the way we talk and change the way we operate. The non-black people that come in and think that we can change the way we talk and change the way we operate. The, the people who swirl, who think they could come and change the way that we talk and change the way we think and change the way we operate. It's the people who think that they're the ones who matter more than the people who I have cultivated. Because when I'm in a different space, of course, I'm talking to the wrong audience. But on my channel, for the people who've known me for years and supported me, um, they know exactly what they're getting. And that's what they yes, want. Sir, I just I want to offer this Thank because you. I saw something similar happen with um, so another brother who has a God given talent. And that's Tommy Sotomayor. Right. And. It's the same way I look at him. God gives gifts without repentance. So I don't begrudge anybody's gift. And you clearly have a gift. What I would challenge you with is the same thing I said about him. Is who are, is truly attracted to you? Nothing in life just happens. And we have, as influencers, we have a responsibility to balance the message in such a way that the people who are truly connected to you and drawn to you are able to receive it. You have to make it palatable. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look at, uh, the only thing I can reference is Jesus, child, so I'm just going to go with that. Jesus made things palatable. He broke things down in such a way that anybody in any level of life could relate to it and receive what he was trying to give. And what I'm saying to you is, is that you do not have to change who you are at the core. That's what makes Yusuf amazing. But I do think you have to temper that 
with the ability to make it palatable. Because if you do that, then you're going to be so much more impactful and powerful than even you are right now. It's not about losing. It's truly about learning that fine balance. You know what I'm saying? You kind of have to just right. tiptoe until you find your groove. I used to be like that, Kimmy, and you're correct. People can lose, your, your message can get lost because of your, um, the way you're presenting the message. Um, pe people, it, it gets right. lost. They, they can't hear it. And it's just like, for me, I'm more so, I want to do some things dealing with spirituality, but I also know that I can't really come at people in a certain way because they may miss exactly what I'm talking about. So I have mm -hmm. to approach it in a different, um, a different way. So that's what I wanted to say about mm -hmm. that. I need so, to go um, more. And I've been working, and you, your ladies are right about that. And I appreciate that advice, Kimmy, because that's the truth. You know, code switching is um, essential. And um, so, you know, I've been working on it. And I always admire people who have the patience. Um, I always admire the people who have those type of patience to sit up there and do that. But that just ain't never been me. You know how everything is. You got the, it's, I just always been so just clatch it with it. That's why I had the Ratchet Today show, you know? No, I don't um, get that. And you don't have to change that. You don't have to change it. But to to really improve your impact, you have to make it palatable. Right. People have to be able to receive it. That's all I'm saying. Right. And, you so know, you it's could, crazy. You know, Everybody tell me that all the time. And it took you to say that for it to hit like that. But it was the way you said it, you know. Cause it was like you was two saying two different things, but you was telling me what, what you were saying, and I heard right. you. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So I appreciate that, you know, and and that's what I was trying to do. And I ordered my hard drive. I was going to download all my videos and delete them all. By the time to get my monetization back in ninety days, I was ready. And they said, "Here go the YouTube devil, somebody yep. who don't even know nothing about the show, who don't even belong, just wandered across, attracted to us." I wasn't calling for you. Yeah, but when you're when you when you lost you. your um when you have lost your monetization right and you're going through an appeal process mm -hmm. or youtube is re-looking at your channel that is one of the most dangerous times <laughs> because they're really looking for any reason to not give you that monetization okay youtube is over their head because there was one time where you had to be uh given an invite to be able to be monetized. Then they made it where, you know, anybody with a thousand subscribers, 4,000 watch hours could become monetized. Think about how much money they pay out. So they look for any reason to let you go. So I, I know, cause I've been through this with being demonetized. And then during that time, you really have to tiptoe around because they are looking for any reason whatsoever oh, and i can tell you uploads <laughs> during that time it really is right yeah mm -hmm. and as a as a og too let me tell you something there's conversations that we can have and most just about everybody will not even catch on to what the hell we're talking about especially not no damn youtube okay so you may have to talk in that way to get your message across. You know right, what I mean? Like, I should have been did it. So it's like, I'm not blaming nobody. I should have been did. I take full accountability <coughs> for responding harder than motherfuckers respond to me for having to having a smarter mouth, cussing motherfuckers out worse than they could try to cuss me out, dragging people harder than they can try to drag me, pulling the mirror up to people, how they act and all that. And so I'm working on, and I know other YouTube peers who've been through this as well. And I don't feel bad that I sat there and was stubborn all these years because like it shouldn't have to take another channel to get taken down for me to want to change my approach. No, but it did. And I learned from it. And, you know, and that's just, hey, should I hope somebody can learn from that. So let me also ask you and C girl. So do you want me to order another palette and. um? send it to you or do you want to order the palette to my house and then you want me to send it to you let me know how you want me to do that because you just said if i could send it to you but i don't know what what part you need me to do um i do gotta get ready to go though because i'm just on break i gotta divide my time up 
And okay, I baby. It. I just wanted to come. I up do appreciate you for coming thank up. You. And I also want to thank uh, Swag Sound. Y'all better come through. We are at one hundred and I'm mean, sorry. Ugh. We are at four hundred and one dollars for the brunch challenge. Amen. I think that was another thing that kind of upset me because Kimmy, you know, as long as I've been on here, I don't beg. I don't ask for money. I don't do any of that. And I came out of my comfort zone for four hundred dollars. I could make sure that the green sector website is good for the year. You know what I'm saying? I ain't did none of that. You know what I'm saying? And so when I get out of my comfort zone and I do the bumming in the begging and the dry begging and the wet begging and the everything under the sun. And when mm -hmm. people give me their fucking ass to kiss after it hits different, you know, yeah. Yeah. but no good deed will ever be, you know, go on, not notice. It's just for me to work with more people that understand. You get what I'm saying? So yeah. um, we are at 401. And Rico, thank you for coming up. Um, I do want to show y'all a little hey, something. Rico, something. That's so good. Hi, Rico. Yeah, I got three minutes. I got to leave right on top of the hour. Okay, Yusuf. Well, thank you. If I don't get a chance to say it, I appreciate you uh, receiving what I was putting down, baby. And Thank I you. wish you nothing but the best and I'll promote your channel as well. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, and again, you know what I'm saying? It's a labor of love. Like all the stories of all the, um, cause like, I don't just talk about that. Like people get caught up in the racism stuff because they feel like race baking. But what about the stuff that I talk about that's more important? Like y'all said, the message is getting lost here because it's so many black women's stories and black people's stories of their lives and everything and that really is getting overlooked here so you know it's my responsibility to do better so i take that and receive that but nobody could make me feel you know any kind of way about it and i hope that people can respect the fact that i meant everything i said yes and i i do ask those uh i'm not asking those who don't like what he does because if you don't like what he does hey listen we all have free will right. but for those who support yousef who appreciates what he brings to the table or appreciates how you know he's able to help us judge in these competitions so on and so forth if you have a community wall please the link is pinned up at the top please go ahead and share his link out on your community wall uh sharing is caring i i, I couldn't imagine if i lost my um my, my channel i've never lost a channel before um i haven't and i hope that i never do because never it's not easy I'm a nice person, Shelly, actually. Um, I'm actually not this mean guy. I'm not this asshole and this jerk. I'm just like this asshole and this jerk, okay? <laughs> you feel me? Because anybody who I love and who loves me knows that I love way deeper 10 times harder than I can hate. I have an amazing sense of humor and just broad spectrum of personality. It's just that one revolutionary side of me that has taken over. And, um, you know, um, I feel like a unicorn. And let me tell you something, Slappy, you wouldn't even believe it. I was watching you. I can't even remember now where I was watching you. I don't remember if it was on your platform or if it was on somebody else's platform. And as much as I love Onsite April, Slappy did an impersonation of Onsite April. And girl, I almost <laughs> pissed myself. Okay. Do you hear me? I oh, almost I love me slappy bitch. My slappy get tickled. Have you ever heard Slappy get tickled? <laughs> oh yes, I have. I wish I could remember. Um, I wish I could remember where she did it at. But it was just so. It was so eerily on point. Like the other day, Pizza Pie did a um uh impression of truth enterprise and if she don't got that shit down motherfucking pat it must be a florida thing she had that <laughs> thing down to the motherfucking t i was tickled pink okay and yeah, I'm I see PR right there all right bye y'all it's five o'clock uh, all right baby thank bye. you for coming up thank you all so much all right, all right. um i wish that um I, I think that's another thing we should do at some point is have like a little um like a little talent show, you know what I'm saying? Um, because it just be f funny some of this shit that people be doing. Like you can do the Dovanees, uh, Slappy can do on-site April. I'm quite sure she can do other people, but she got on-site April down pat. Pizza can do uh truth enterprise. <laughs> um, it is so crazy, and I think that would be fun to do that 
for the um hey three one three for the subscribers now let me show y'all something i don't want y'all to take this the wrong way or think i'm in shady because this is my boo okay but let me tell y'all what i saw today over on um over on instagram okay because i went over to instagram to message rico and let me show you what i found what's that who is that that is larry reed in conscious tv you know, conscious keep him some keep him old nasty piece of hair, bitch. So I I had to ask. Of course, um, lost brain cells. You know, I'm not funny like that. Y'all don't have to. Um, yeah, um, USC girl, you can. Okay, look, because Heidi hasn't sent my palette yet. Because of course, I didn't reach out to her with my email. I mean, I'm sorry, my PO box. You can um, send her the 20 or whatever, right? And then um, that way, at least when she sends my makeup palette, she can send them both together. So that can kind of help her with postage a little bit too. You get what I'm saying? Because postage is high as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And that way it'll be two orders in one. And then I will send it to you. So I have no problem with that at all, okay? But, um, yeah, a lot of people were saying a lot of different things about, you know, Larry Reed and Conscious TV. I love Conscious TV, so I'm not going to say anything at all. But, you know, people be were saying before they had met, they even had, um, they even had psychics. They were doing readings on them, okay? That's how much they were involved in what the hell was going on with them. So, um, mm. so I do want to talk to um, Rico, but I'm going to talk to Rico backstage uh, once the live is over. And I'm about to conclude today's live because it's been almost, oh, my God, two hours. Um, and I plan on coming on here just for a little moment, just for a little second. But it has been a lot of fun. It really has. Um, it says LR had a Halloween party. LR. Larry. Oh, okay. Well, what are you doing having a Halloween party? Uh uh. On that note, God bless y'all and y'all and devils love y'all. Do that make sense? I'm just saying, does it? It's an oxymoron, child, but it's a whole lot about him that's an oxymoron, honey. I like conscious TV, but um Larry Ree has never said it well with me at all. Mm -mm. And um all the smoke, I was saying with you, I really appreciate. You know, all the help you've been given as far as dropping the links and stuff like that and the um, dates and times of these other contests that has been really helpful. And I appreciate it. Um, hey, Lorraine, I'm just saying they said all kind of things. They said Larry Reed bought a car. They, I'm just saying conscious TV. Don't take don't Don't get mad with me. OK, I'm just saying what the people said. So to see y'all together, I know it was a Halloween party, but child, I'm just gonna leave that alone. But I thought I would, I thought I would uh uh uh, uh share it. That's what I said. Mm hmm. Lexington, I don't know, child. They doing too much, and oh, also too. So um, you know that November nineteenth is gonna be part two to the brunch. So we have that coming forward. And then, um, and I should have said beforehand. So on the 18th, we will be having the grief panel. That will be with Creo um, Butterfly. That's going to be on her platform. We're going to be doing that on Saturday. That's the 18th. On the 19th, we're going to be doing the brunch challenge. And then there's a plethora of other uh, contests and stuff going on, which um, All the Smoke is posting that in the chat right now. And then I'll be coming back through on December the 10th, and I will be doing a subscriber only giveaway, and you will be winning cash. You will be winning cash, and I will. Um, I have a couple other content creators that want to participate, but I don't really want to go so far to say that. Now, this is the husband, child. Hey, babe. Um, mm -mm.
All right, sorry about that, y'all, but it's always family first. Um, so I'm gonna be so if you are a person that puts up videos or you do content, sometimes you are exempt, okay? Because when I'm doing the brunch challenge and all that, that money is going to um content creators. So let's give some money to the subscribers. So this is gonna be subscriber only, it's gonna be trivia. Mo's gonna be making cupcakes, and the um true crime bartender is gonna be making drinks and teaching you guys recipes. I'm gonna be hosting, we're gonna be playing trivia, we're gonna have a lot of fun, and I look forward to that. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. I will see you guys later because the husband didn't already call me, so he's on the way home. Want to make sure if I needed anything or not. I'm going to leave out with some music. And then me and Rico going to handle business how we going to handle business. Okay. Rico, is there anything you want to say to the people before we leave up off of here? Oh, hi. Hello, everyone. My name? Oh, wait. I can't hear you. Oh, you can't hear me? What now I can you? barely hear you. Hardly. Let me see. Hold on. It sounds like you in the um, basement and somebody holding you um, hostage. Help me. Help, help, help. Hold on, let me let me switch devices and come back up because I'm on like the StreamYard app that I downloaded. Oh, okay. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay. So, um, he'll back up in just a moment. Overall, I'm not going to complain about this live. It was a lot going on, but like I said, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I don't remember Dory saying that her husband had a child by Kiki. And now everybody pretending like they don't remember that. I remember that crystal, cl crystal clear. Because she told me behind the scenes. That's the link right there, um, Rico. I don't know why people be thinking that people be forgetting stuff. I ain't forgetting none of that. Just like I didn't forget that she said that she has something to do with IHOP. So it was kind of weird when I heard her saying um, to VS, well, VS ain't lying. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute. You told me that you're the one that sent Kiki up to the goddamn IHOP. So, I mean, what's really going on? I I'm confused. And I'm not mad with nobody, and I ain't beefing with nobody, but facts are facts. You see the link, Rico? Yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. I'm going to try to take it easy because if not, I'm going to be um, overwhelmed with all these different things that we have going on. I'm thinking a good date for the makeup challenge, honestly, would be like December the 30th. It's before New Year's. It's before the New Year. And um, I have seen time and time again that a lot of times during the holiday times, people are off of work. They have extra time. They're at home. And I think that would be a good time to do the challenge if Heidi's okay with that date, you know? And again, I thank every single person who has contributed towards the brunch um, to the pot, because come on, I did this not even a month apart from the last one. You get what I'm saying? So um, you all didn't have to do it. And we also have $25 up for MVP, whoever is showing the best sportsmanship. But that money will not be given out until 24 hours after the contest because we see what happened the last time. And I'm not going to dwell on the last time because yesterday is over and today is here. OK. All right. I don't have time to dwell on the past or whatever happened way back when I'm on to some different shit and some new shit and I'm going to keep it moving. OK, so let me see how you sound now. Okay, mic check. Oh, you sound two. way better. Yo, I had downloaded this StreamYard app, you know, whatever, for guests or whatever. I was just testing it out to see how it go, but like, yeah, guess not. But, um, hi, hello, chat, you know, the ones, you know, that the support and that I love. How are y'all feeling on this beautiful Friday? And it is a beautiful Friday. And thing. hopefully y'all are feeling great and y'all know the vibes, you know, when I'm saying any names. Mwah, mwah. You have anything coming up? Any lives or any premieres or anything like that that we should know um, about? I got 
I did have my sugar baby class coming tomorrow, but due to the circumstances of hating people, you know, um, I got striked for hate speech. But um, I got oh, my Lord. uh huh. I got my other page though, you know, like my other page is like almost about to be monetized. So like, I'm not really tripping on that, you know. It's just the simple fact of these people would do that. But like, you know, it's a laugh at them that just shows that I won at the end of the day. Because I guess my read hit a little bit harder. You know, whatever. But, well, make um, sure y'all also check this out. YouTube had offered it to me, but I didn't bother to do it because I really didn't feel like retaining any information. Uh -huh. But um, there's a class that you can take and it will remove a community guideline strike, which, you know, community guideline strikes are like the worst strikes to get. I don't know if uh, you saw that, but it's in the um, it's in the dashboard. Oh, I was like looking, like looking in the studio and things because I'm all like my hate speech, you know, it's just really educating people. But like, since they want to be like that, I'm going to do my research and I'm going to just start, you know, flagging people for hate speech as well. Yeah, because it sticks with your channel as long as you have it. And that's why uh -huh. I think some people don't understand the difference between the community guideline strike and other strikes or whatever. But yeah, if you go in the dashboard, there's a class. Um, I don't know how much questions they ask or anything like that, but yeah, you can sign up for it and they will remove one of those, um, community guideline strikes. Cause if I'm correct, I think after the first community oh, guideline the strike, first one. huh? I said, this is just the first one that I got. Yeah, you don't even want to have that one. Uh, uh, because like, I just hit like my five pages yesterday. Like, I'm over a little 5k today. I was supposed to be having a celebration today, but you know, I'm just doing it on the other page. Yeah, go ahead and because, and you know what? Actually, I'm telling it to you, and I need mm -hmm. to do that for myself and go ahead and take that because the video I got the strike on, it was the video that I put up like back in Blab days, and they struck uh -huh. me like three, four years later. And I'm like, it was just a teacher talking to yeah. a kid. Like, what are y'all talking about? And, and, and I, I oh my oh no you're fine i appealed it and everything and youtube wouldn't change it so i'm like you know what let me just go ahead and take this because these channels are very fragile and the mm -hmm. fact that yousef is coming through starting all over again it shows how fragile these um these channels are so anyway and the thing about it is and the thing i'm sorry just the no, thing no, about no, it is, Okay, the thing about it is, you know, whatever is that people want to do this for hate speech, but yes, yeah, they're posting people's children's address and stuff, and then, you know, doing the most disgusting things on there, but, you know, that's still left up. I don't get that part of it, you know? Right. Hmm? Oh, yeah, on. I don't get it either. I really don't. But um, I'm going to go ahead and conclude today. I'm going to leave out with some music. Even <laughs> lately, when I played my music... I haven't even been able to put people's comments up on the screen. And StreamYard was trying to say it was my internet. If it's my internet, then why is it kicking other people off to come up on have the you panel? Tried, have you tried Restream? That's the one I was telling them that I'm going to go with. And, you know, they, they have the um, mm -hmm. they, they, they have less auto issues. Even for the free one, there's no watermark. The only mm -hmm. difference is, you know, if you drop a link for Restream, like uh -huh. if I drop the link for you and then let's say all the smoke needs the link, I got to drop another link because that other link expires. expires. I like that too because you can avoid trolls um, clicking the link and trying to ear hustle. And then like that one too is also good. Like the lighting when you came up or whatever is just perfect. Like you don't have to do nothing. Like if I use that app, I'm definitely, yo. <laughs> and I could be wrong, but I believe if you use the paid one, I believe mm -hmm. they said that you can stream at 30 different sites. Oh, it's like 15, 15 or 30 different, 30, 35, something like that, you know. But the person that got me on to it, I was like, yo, I'm going to use this instead because, like, it was on point. You can do your background. You could do, like, everything. Your logo. Even their free graphics are nice. You know what I'm saying? And, it's yeah. just that one person used StreamYard, so it's like everybody started using it. And I just look at the beef sector and all of this money that we're paying individually to StreamYard to have fucked up service. That yeah. makes no sense to me. That's why I stopped paying like for my StreamYard, you know, because like when it started messing up, like it was like, two months ago, two well, yeah, two months ago. Like when it, I had pizza that 
it was like, you know, tweaking or whatever. Like first it was back in the chat, you know, clearing out the chat. And then like once you try to like do like a function on there, like it would like glitch. Right. Yeah. So it's just too many problems. And then I see people pay all this extra money to store their videos. But I'm like, why wouldn't you just download your video once it's done? and upload it to a backup channel or whatever, even though you can only upload 10 videos a day on YouTube, which is some other bullshit. So it's just better just to do it as you go along versus later on. But that's mm -hmm. it and that's all. Listen, we had two hours. That's it and that is motherfucking all. I love you guys so much. I thank you guys for the um donations. Again, Swag Found, Lost Brain Cells, Stacy Roberson, I really truly appreciate your support. I appreciate every single person that made a donation. Your name will be up there. I don't care how long it takes me to put every single person's name um, as a part of it. I, I feel like you guys deserve it because you did give and you don't have to. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and leave out with this music and I will see you guys later. Bye. But if I your body, girl, I don't mind no, 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 no. Cause not only you, they my mind, oh Girl, you too fine, go lie to lie Me, I know they lie, yo oh. Not only you, they my head, oh yeah. Only you, they my head, oh See my you, they cause confusion in my head, yeah. yeah Me, I know they lie, yo oh. My fantasy, yeah, my fantasy. Oh. Only you, they my head, oh, oh. Can you even imagine what is going on inside? Is this reality? I don't wanna wake up from this dream Them say something must kill a man oh, But if I your body girl I don't mind Cause not only you then my mind go Yeah yeah See you to find me I know the liar See not only you then my head yeah only you in my head, oh, see now you they cause some vision in my head, oh, yeah, me I know the lie, oh, me I know the lie, oh, only you in my head, oh, my head. only you in my head, oh, see now you they cause the motion in my head, oh, yeah, me I know the lie, oh, my head, oh, see, see now only you in my head, oh, my head. Confusion in my head, oh, me I know the lie, oh, I know the lie.